say that everything is okay Cause you're coming back, you're coming my way You don't know if you're here to stay Hi, I'm Hannah and thanks for clicking on this video. I just wanted to give you a quick overview of what you can expect from this video. Watch this video if you ever don't know where to start when painting, or if you are on this journey with me, this journey of improving your craft and challenging yourself to learn things that you're afraid to do, like things that you always avoided. Um, you will see me try to get back into painting after not touching a brush for five months in this video and start with a drawing in order to get back into the routine and then paint one of my favorite portraits ever, honestly. I think it's one of my favorite ones I've ever done. And in this video, I will also share what I've learned through starting again after a while and what I did to get over the issues I faced in the beginning. So I started my first oil painting back super confident. I had plans to paint this beautiful woman sitting on a sofa who was actually inspired by the movie Emma and I was going to paint her full body but mostly focus on her face and I started that painting. I didn't do a sketch or anything and previously I had watched so many videos on Instagram of people just painting and watching their videos like sped up but I think that sort of tricked me in my mind or sort of made me feel as if I would have to paint that fast even though I know it's sped up so I don't know why I did that but I didn't do a sketch before I tried to sketch it with the oil paint and I painted it and I realized quite early on that I had issues with like mixing the co right colors I used way too many colors um and also just the proportions were wrong so I um, wipe the face off and I, I was like, okay, well, this is fine because normally whenever I paint I get into this stage where I hate the portrait where everything looks ugly and I'm just like This is not good and I want to give up But I don't give up and I just keep pushing and sometimes When you realize that you've done something wrong or like You just I just had too much paint on there already and I was just putting paint on top of paint So I just decided to wipe it off I did that and I did that two more times and in the end like after two days of spending like 10 hours on that I ended up wiping everything off and I felt so frustrated and the painting looked really not good and I just questioned myself and I was well it was really frustrating to come back to painting and I felt really confident into painting and then to like fail and struggle that much and I began to think about like yeah, what I want to do, what I want to paint, and also just be mindful about it. And, um, yeah, I just think it's so easy to compare yourself to other people on Instagram and artists that have, that are way older than I am, that have whole careers after them, or artists that went to art school, which just have been draw painting and drawing for way longer than I have. And, of course, my skill level won't match those, but sometimes I think we should remind ourselves of that and not be too harsh on ourselves and just be kind to ourselves and just continue learning which is why I wanted to do this video because I realized that no one ever taught me how to paint so how could I expect to paint perfectly um I never went to any art schools everything that I learned from drawing to painting was just by myself through looking at other people on Instagram or on YouTube and that's how I did it and that's also why I'm missing a lot of things I'm missing a lot of basics and sometimes that's really hard to admit because I have paintings that I'm really proud of and I have paintings that I think make it seem as if I know more than I do but I don't and that was a really humbling experience so I ended up sitting down and cleaning it and like looking for inspiration and looking through my art books and just trying to like be inspired again because I felt so frustrated after that painting and then I, I ended up just telling myself all right let's just try and do a sketch let's try to work with charcoal and pencils and um I don't think a lot of people know that but if you go on my Instagram and you scroll all the way down you see a lot of um pencil and colored pencil portraits because that's what I, that's what I used to do up on 2020 but I never really used to sketch them freely most of the time I used to use a grid method because I wanted to focus on coloring them and like on the colors and just on the whole process of yeah, coloring them, them in and not on the sketching process but also at that time I was quite insecure and I was really just wanting to produce something that I really liked and that was per quote-unquote perfect 
also I think with like pencil drawings you don't really have that much room of for like imperfections because they would just not look like the person that I was painting anyways I realized that I never really learned how to sketch and that's something that obviously hinders me when painting as well because if you don't know how to sketch if I don't know how to sketch in, in pencil how do I expect to sketch with oil paint so I sit, end up sitting down and sketching and I'm actually happy with that sketch it's not perfect it's definitely not very good but it sort of served its purpose and this is something I definitely want to focus on in 2023 just working on the basics working on being able to sketch stuff and on knowing how to use charcoal and pencils and actually being okay with not being good at it and just starting and yeah so I did that So after I had sort of built up the courage to sit down to paint again, I had watched quite a lot of oil painting videos before on YouTube just to like, just go back to the fact that I don't really know what I'm doing and whenever I'm painting I feel like I know what I'm doing but I think I just do whatever I think feels right but I'm not using a particular technique. So I decided to... Um, Inspired by this YouTube video, I decided to use the Sorn palette, which basically consists out of a black, a white, a red, and a brown, and use that to mix my colors. Because previously, I think I've just used too many different colors, and then it's such a build up. And I wanted to be really mindful when painting the portrait, and I think I really succeeded at that. I started with using really dark colors to fill in the shadows and then had to stop myself after filling in all the shadows after like two hours um that one day and I was like no I'm gonna continue doing this the next day because often I think I just sit on one thing too long and I don't take breaks which is another thing I learned um and I ended up just filling in the lighter shades the next day and everything worked out and I think what was really important for this painting was me sitting down really taking my time, being mindful of the colors I chose, actually pre-mixing my colors, and then working slowly and taking breaks and stepping away from the painting and also just doing the sketch beforehand and um, painting under it with like a brownish color to have a sort of base to paint on. Um, I think that's something that really helped me. And going forward, I definitely want to try to be more mindful on using different techniques and on just learning how to sketch and going back to the basics and yeah I really hope that I can help you with this video even if it's just realizing that we're all learning and that's totally fine. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you enjoyed the painting, painting process. Say that everything is okay Cause you're coming back You're coming my way You don't know if you're here to stay But you're coming down You're coming my way That golden clouds in the sunset sky You turned the page and made it alright The amber lights were on in my life But you took them You say that good things take time so they do, but